All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple password engine, which you could use in quizzes, puzzle games, or menus. I'm going to start by making a text box. And this is the text box you're actually going to enter the passwords into. I'm going to go over to the properties menu. I'm going to change it to an input text box. I'm going to go down to behaviors. I'm going to change the behavior to password. And what this means is when you enter the password, it's going to come up with asterisk stars, like in most passwords. But if you want it to just have the normal words, you could change it back to single line. I'm going to keep password because it's more authentic. The variable, I'm just going to give it the name pass, but it doesn't really matter, just something like that will do. Press enter. Alright, once you've done this, I'm going to go back on the text box and I'm going to enter every letter of the alphabet into it. Because this is important to do because you need to embed it before you can export the flash file. I'm also going to um, input all the numbers as well in case you want to put numbers in the password. Right, once you've done that, you go over to embed, press all, and OK. Now once they're, they're entered, you can just delete them. I'm just going to make this, yeah, there we go. Now what I recommend to do now is make a rectangle behind this text box because when this is exported that text box will be invisible so you need something to show where the actual text box is. Right, now I'm going to go over and make a password input button to press once you've input the, the letters. Now remember once you've done this to make this one a static text because it's just it's just for decoration. Once you've made the button, click on it, and this is the code you want to write into the action script box. I'll explain the code now. On release, when you press the button, if pass, which is the text box, has the word banana in it. I'm just going to use this as the example password. So if you write banana in there, it'll go to the next frame, but you can change this to any frame you want. If banana isn't entered, or a different word, or nothing's entered, it will go to stop one, which is this frame. You can also change that as well if you want. Now, once that's entered, I'm going to make a frame 2 so we can test this. On frame 2 I'm just going to enter this to signify it has gone to frame 2. Then I'm going to just put some stop commands here. And now it should be ready to test. I'm going to enter banana into the text box. And it's gone to frame 2, which shows that it's worked. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe.